Okay, so let's see um, where all this funding is gone, huh? Billions and billions have been spent to keep you safe. <coughs> now, safe from what? That's the question. Now, why am I an imminent threat? Is it because I keep asking where this money is going and why we're not being safe? Is it because I asked where the 28.6 million went for the oil spill that was not cleaned up? Is it because I'm not white? I might look white. And that is pretty funny, the people that keep stealing my shit because I made a joke that, you know, maybe Michael Jackson and I were bleached for our protection uh, because I am very, very native. I am red. And see, I'm the wild Indian. And I'm a female. I was born February 13th, 1989 in Bangor, Maine. Um, I ended up, it came out that I was, um, I just recently, within the past year, have found out that I was born um, with a very rare cancer. Well, not super rare, but pretty rare. Um, with other other things wrong. Um, that actually made it so I am alive. That my blood healed. Um, CLL, or like ALL, um, lymphatic leukemia. That is why all of my cells um, uh, split. Um, they split and they are all elevated. Meaning my blood needs to be taken. It gets thick. Um, I need to have fluids. You know, that's how they kept me alive. Um, it also came out that I had had brain surgery, not sinus surgery, back in 2006. Um, when it had, they put me on a wait and watch list, which um, my parents should be able to vouch, which I'm hoping they're still alive and that the law enforcement has not let me down yet again. Um, you guys have a lot, the Hernando County allowed my sister to, is not to have any contact with my children unless I say so, um, care for my child, um, after, and, and open, oh, 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 so in 2012, yes, she was sick, yes, she was manic, um, <coughs> she had tried to kill me, she was put into a hospital for 30 days, a mental hospital, I refused to press, um, charges against her, but it was to be known that if I ever said that she needed, that I was felt like I was in danger, or myself, or another child, that she would be put in. Now, she has since then opened a life insurance policy on me since 2017. Is that even allowed? How is that legal? Um, how can people be doing this? And if it was of a drug overdose, and I am such a fucking junkie apparently, which with my type of cancer, I cannot be red flagged. Um, it, it, it actually it needs um, opiates. Now, people um, think that, you know, they can just give people whatever. Uh, for you that don't know, gabapentin is actually a neurological medication, which affects the brain, which can um, really harm somebody with brain cancer. Like, really harm somebody. But a lot of these people already know that. Um, now, just like um, Hannaford Pharmacy, um, see, like, now, Randy Day should not have sued the pharmaceutical company with all those people from Bradford for me. Because now I can't even get meds. Because the pharmaceutical company literally thinks that I have sued them for fucking everything. I've never once done a small action claim lawsuit. Because I always thought, you know, there's a million other people. But when my children get hurt, when I get hurt, you know, and there's real shit that needs to be done. Because I've never once sued anybody. I have a lot of pending cases. You know, when somebody isn't a doctor and cuts you open. Yeah, that, that's a big deal to me. It should be a big deal to a lot of people. Like a C-section is a major surgery. It's just very common. So a lot of people don't believe it is. 